Hi, next up we've got a rather interesting phone from Portugal. When I say from Portugal it was actually made in Liverpool by ATM, Automatic Telephone Manufacturers. But Portugal had an arrangement with the, uh, the GPO of this country to supply their phones. And um, as I showed earlier, the Optophone, which was a Portuguese phone that they used. This one is marked AEP, Automatic Electric Portugal. Yes, it's a 332. Not a copy, it is a 332. We'll show you a bit closer of the in innards. I haven't taken the chassis right out. It, it, it will only expose the back of this dial, which, as you can see, space, it's an automatic dial, which is a, a well-proven design, which I've gone over before. This has got sort of a brass fascia to it. On the top of the phone, AEP. Looking at the handset, ATM, automatic telephone manufacturing. Sometimes these will have had optophone on the handset or even another AEP. Now yeah, looking at the base plate which I've taken out off so you can see, we have a lovely diagram, very neat diagram. Tipo 332. Not a word of English on this. Rosetta means it's the shape of a round uh, block terminal. And Bob D. Industrio, Bobby means, means bobbin or spool of the induction coil, which is within the dotted lines. Nicely laid out. Got a date there, they, they go back 56, 57 the number. And now turning this over you've got various dates and things stamped on the back of this. Can't make it all out which is typical. You've got AEP again inspected. These are by the way are genuine phones, they're not fakes, they're genuine phones. Like the ITI phone, ITI phones are genuine I believe they did try to fake them at one time, but um, this is completely genuine and dated 62, 61, 60. Yeah, let's have a little look inside. Turn the phone over. And as you can see, a typical 332 arrangement with your terminals. Interesting to note that Portugal used our type of plug. Like Israel, it's the same plug. And this lead, I would say, was has been put on a, a later date. 
you've got your capacitor there made by ATE automatic telephone electric there's probably a date on there somewhere I can't see but there probably is could even be that 97 no I don't know the induction coil and your bell 1000 ohms impedance between the two coils two gongs nicely adjusted you can just see the the dial inside there but as I say it's an automatic dial which is 100% correct for this phone the handset as I say is, is the standard uh, GPO type handset and this one, as repeated, is made by ATM. And obviously a genuine cord, not a twisty cord, not a pleated cord. And the cord is in good nick. No damage to, to the cord whatsoever. So all in all, not a bad phone. Any, any questions, please ask. Um, as I say, this looks like it's probably been uh, checked over and reconditioned at a fairly late date. So that date on that capacitor could well be, um, I don't know, it's got 97, it might be, it might not. You know, I'm not very good at numbers. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Um, I can stand it back up, put the bottom on at a later date. Show you the dial again. Nice smooth dial. And the plungers are a sil silvery cover, silvery colour. And that is it. Uh, this phone did not have the drawer in it. I think these drawers were only used on the version sold in England and then only between so, so, so many dates. Anyhow, once again, thanks for watching. Any questions, please ask. And we'll get back to you. But as I said before, this is a 332 for Portugal automatic electric Portugal. Thanks again for watching. Thank you.